Magazine's tour of my inbox, and there it is. It's empty. Um, I'm a big fan in Inbox Zero, and once I resolve a student issue, I will archive the message. That's something you can do using this little icon that's grayed out because there's nothing in my box. And if you write me a message in my inbox, I'll act, often ask you to send that to reports or to the FAQ or to find an edit. Those are simply assignments and discussion boards that I use as a tool in my class to help me better help you. When you go to reports, you will be able to submit to this ungraded assignments as many times as you need to. But it looks a little tricky on your end. You can always see the latest submission and when that was made. And you can see submission details where you can see what you have submitted to me. And you can go in and resubmit an assignment. But I wanted to show you why I prefer to use this instead of the inbox on my end. So this is the behind the scenes of what my reports look like. And this is for a test student, of course. So I get a notification that the student has made a submission here. And I come in and I'm shown the latest submission. This is a fake report, of course, but it's asking to have a speech regraded. Whenever I see something and I resolve it, I will always write a private comment to you here. And these are comments much like this report assignment. Only you and I can see this. But since I can't really submit an assignment back to you to let you know what's happening, I will add a private comment here for you. Now, it's really important you note that if you add a private comment to me, I will see it when I come in here to reports, but I won't get a notification from the system if you as the student come in here, which is why I ask you to always resubmit to reports if something's new, updated, going on. And even though, as I said, you will only see that latest submission, I'll have the option to see all of them in a drop-down menu. This really helps me keep track of you as a student over the course of the semester because I can see everything that's happening and know the best way to help you. I have any disability accommodations documented here, any health issues documented here, any military orders. And this is the first place I look, this and the frequently asked questions and find an edit every day um, when I log in. So. I encourage you to use those tools that I've created for you. Um, again, reports for personal issues, the FAQ for issues that you could ask in front of the class. Um, I look forward to hearing from y'all.